from what I've seen, and I've seen, you know, I've seen some of it at quite a high end, and some of it you know, just through talking with people and being at conferences and and uh, you know reading the literature that's coming out and so on. Um, it still is quite focused towards the hamstrings um, in terms of you know actually on that tissue. So various things like you know your ultrasound was what was one thing that people were were using a lot at one point, and then you know shockwave therapy and foam rolling and all kinds of different techniques for working directly on the hamstring itself mm. you know manual techniques um and still not so much focused away from the hamstring such as you know how are those sacred act joints functioning you know is there an imbalance side to side is one moving too much one moving too little um how is the core working you know is, is the transverse abdominis doing what it's supposed to do or is the hamstring having to compensate for that is the multifidus doing what it's supposed to do these are stabilizer muscles of course of, of the pelvis um uh, or was the hamstring compensating for them? And there was a, there was a interesting study in 2003 by Barbara Hungerford where she showed that when there's low back pain, she was actually looking at sacral leg joint pain. Now, just to preface this before I go into it, what she found, um, one of the things that was found in the 90s is that when people have pain, the multifidus gets inhibited. So this low back stabilizer muscle gets inhibited, switched off by the pain, as does the transverse abdominis, which is this corset muscle around the uh, abdomen and um so we kind of knew of that already um but what barbara hungerford found is that when there's sacred act joint pain um actually I've, I've, I've jumped the gun again too quickly part of what we know also about the multifidus and, and the transverse abdominis is that they fire ahead of movement so they, they have what's called a feed forward mechanism so before you move your arm before you move your leg uh these muscles engage to create stability so this is the idea that, uh, as Paul Check says, you can't fire a cannon from a canoe. So in order to be able to generate power, you've got to stabilize first, then you can generate power. So this feed forward mechanism means that the transverse abdominis and multifidus fire about 30 milliseconds ahead of arm movement, and about 90 milliseconds ahead of leg movement. So essentially, um, that, that was what was known in the 90s. Um, but the outer muscles, things like the deltoid and the hamstrings and the glutes, um, they tend to fire, you know, as you move, right? So what Barbara Humphrey found was that when there's sacral leg joint pain, the biceps femoris, this hamstring uh, muscle that is very commonly injured, it actually fires ahead of the multifidus and transverse abdominis, partly because they're inhibited, but partly because the, the drives to that biceps femoris have been upregulated because essentially it's now trying to stabilize the sacral leg joints and perform a role that is it is able to stabilize but it's just one of many stabilizers um and and so you know whereas before it might have been taking 10 percent of the role of stabilizing if there's pain there suddenly the transversus and the multifidus which which take a lot more of the the, the role of stabilizing perhaps you know 30 percent each well now they're not working until late and so the biceps femoris is firing and it's essentially making up that 60% deficit. So it's increasing its tone. Um, and so that, that could be so a mechanism like, of the right? Yeah, so that's like, you know, driving your car, you've got your accelerator on and the brake at the same time. It is, exactly, because, you know, the hamstring is a mobilizer muscle. It's, it's designed to move you forwards primarily. That's that's its primary function. Um it's biarticular, which again tells you that its, it's uh, role is primarily to move, um, and yet it's being asked to stabilize. And so, like you say, it's, it's, it's having to sort of hold tension, but at the same time move. Um, and and that is essentially two two different roles, which means that it's gonna like well, the analogy you just gave is perfect. Trying to drive forwards, but with the brakes on. Mm. Um, so yeah, no wonder it gets worn down right? yeah. and stressed. 